Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. I'm Wendy with the Swamp Rabbit Inn, and I'm here with Ty Hoke, the boss of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. That's what I call it. So. <laughs> That's what my kids call me too. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right, well it's true. Ty takes care of our beautiful trail among many other things. Ty, tell us what you do here in Greenville. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start with my title. I'm the Director of Greenways, Natural okay. and Historic Resources for Greenville County Parks, Recreation and Tourism. All right. So that includes the Swamp Rabbit Trail, that includes historic sites like Campbell's Covered Bridge, Poinsett Bridge, dealing with river projects, all the fun stuff about Greenville. Historical Histor sites. You know. Historical sites, you know. Okay. Yeah. And we have a lot of that here in Greenville. Um, hey Sarah, how are you? In Hilton Head. Sarah Polite's watching. Sarah just got a bike. Nice. And yeah, so we'll be seeing Sarah on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, right girl? Okay, cool. So, Ty, what brought you to Greenville? So I came to Greenville because I came to Furman University. Okay. Used to play soccer in high school and some of my buddies that played came up here. I came to visit and Furman just looked like a college. So I was like, okay, this works for me. And that was well be and I lived in a fraternity house where the trail became. So I'm used to the train running by it on Saturday mornings, which is not something you want in a fraternity house. Oh wow, yeah, no, I guess not. Where was this fraternity house? It was right off Duncan Chapel Road. Okay. Yeah, so now it's oh. it's Furman owns it, it's their outdoor Oh outdoor, outdoor club. Center. Yeah, their outdoor club. Oh, so that that was a frat house. That was okay. a frat house. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> so that's I'm how sure that's how it got me here. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sure yeah, you yeah. have a lot of good stories. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. hope to bring some of those out. <laughs> if anybody has any questions for Ty, please write them in and we'll ask him. So, okay, Furman University, yep. a wonderful yep. place. We love Furman so much. Um, then where did you go after Furman? So I got a degree in geology, went out west to kind of snowboard bum kind of thing for yeah. a year, came back east and was just doing the normal, you know, out of college job search. Yeah. Ended up with uh, getting a job with the South Carolina State Park Service. Okay. Um, had the four different positions. Um, 12 years later, I was the uh, park manager. I'm sorry, uh, nine years later, I was park manager at Paris Mountain State Park. Oh, Kind of back here, yeah. reconnected with everybody. Um, fortunately, right before then, right before I moved in to that new position, they, the, the uh, state parks had done a master plan for Paris Mountain, said they want a bunch of trails. I had already been building trails for South Carolina State Parks all over the, for the parks I was at. I was like, perfect, let's just the build right some more trails. The job. Awesome. Like, let's go. So, what year was that? That was. Oh my gosh, I think it was 2000, it was 2001. Okay. Yeah. All right, so if you have never mountain biked or hiked Paris Mountain, it's just outside of downtown Greenville. Uh, roadies, we love to climb Paris Mountain. Um, there's tons of great mountain bike trails there. And I guess this man was instrumental in bringing those trails. Well, a fun little story was, is, um, so we like the Tour de France and all that stuff. So we're following the Tour de France mm -hmm. and, um, Obviously, George Hancappy lives here, and so I was talking with his brother one day, and I'm like, where does he train? He's like, well, he comes in the park and trains and does a 1K climb up inside the park. And so Rich and I were figuring out exactly, Rich calls him up, and it turns out that George has just finished a stage at the Tour de France. And he's like, okay, and Rich is like, hey, where, 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 do, you do, your, where do you start doing your time? And he's like, by the big oak tree, kind of right by the bend. So we put a little mark there, and we made this little kind of starter point and the end point and little there's a little time and I think it was like somewhere in three minutes for a climb and but he was also like now remind everybody if they beat me it's because I had just gone up and around over Caesar's head and oh. it was a neat little story yeah wow that's amazing yeah. so George we have George's route um, yeah. available to us and the Holowesco Citadel team is in tour of California right now so we're watching you guys every day and cheering for you it's kind of our hometown team so yeah, go, go, uh, hello, let's go, sit it all. Um, so that was, uh, what trail now? Like what? So that was, that, the George Sankey thing was just on the road. Okay. And then when I was there, we just, I think we probably had like four or five miles. And then when I left, we had 13. Okay. So we just, we really got at it. We fixed some of the existing trails and added a bunch of stuff. We added, to, we acquired property and yeah. it was, okay. let's make it work. Very good. So what's your favorite trail to ride Paris Mountain? Oh, it's well. It's called Fun Canuga. I admit, Fun the, Canuga. The adjective is not on the on the uh, the trailhead, but okay. Upper Canuga, Fun Canuga. I think we all all the locals call it Fun Canuga. Okay. It's just got a lot of good flow. Yeah. Oh gosh, five miles of maybe not that much, but a bunch of miles of downhill. Okay. Yeah. So, what kinds of events go on around the mountain bike trails at Paris Mountain and and running events yep. too? Yep. So I, we used to have. Um, 
We set, uh, we worked with Half Moon Outfitters in the past to have some night runs at Paris Mountain. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of bike demo days. Okay. Um, Paris Mountain's a fairly aggressive trail system it for is. mountain biking. It is. Um, so you know the higher end Yeti and so on and so forth would come in and do bike demos there. Mm -hmm. um, so we would do those kind of events. And then it was also fun. We had a park interpreter that just schedule wise wanted to work Tuesday nights, and I was like, well, if you're gonna work till nine o'clock on Tuesday nights in the winter. Why don't we keep the park open so people can start night riding? Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's when you put like a headlamp on. Oh, yeah. And you go down mountain bike trails. Yep. Yeah, why not? Hey, Joanne, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, is there still a downhill race? There is. So that's Cranksgiving. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, I love so Cranksgiving. <laughs> Upstate Sorba puts on an enduro, a downhill, a cross country ride. And then also the fun things like my, my nine year old daughter loves doing them with me is the alley cats around okay, yeah. downtown Greenville. When there has there been an alley cat? They are, they are. They're all they're all over the county. So sometimes just okay. with connecting with things, I miss them too. Okay. All right, good. Anytime they want to stop by the inns, just let me know. And there's some scavenger hunts sometimes yep. too on bikes. Yep. Yeah. All kinds of fun bike events here for all levels of cyclists, all genres of cycling, mountain biking, road biking bike touring even there's great campsites in our state parks and just come ride the trail today's kind of a cloudy rainy day here in Greenville or this trail would just be humming and humming but uh, yeah what's what else can we expect with the trail Ty what's coming? yeah so because it's been successful like you said and we have half a million users a year um, it we're just building more and more so we're working to get down towards the Golden Strip down there so that's add another four miles on there we're talking with people up towards Marietta to get up towards the mountains. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's really both directions. Both directions. It's actually more than just two directions because it's a network now. Yeah. So we've got the Orange Line that heads over to Hampton Station. Mm -hmm. That's um, right down the street here. We're right at the Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. We're on we're on site at yep. Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. Yeah. yeah. So the Orange Line just opened. Yep. So. Yep. And so we're going to start to kind of brand this a little bit more. The original line, the Green Line. Okay. Kind of based off the subway thing. So if yeah. you come into town, and you don't know where you're. Like you, where you're going, you kind of hopefully the signs and the colors kind of go. Oh, okay, well this is going to take me to this destination. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. And then um, it's coming through Verde. It is. Yep. Is that going to be still part of the Green Line? Yes, that'll okay. probably be the Green Line because that's where we think uh, most likely we're in private property land pretty soon after that. We think that's where we're going to get down to Simpsonville, Malden, and okay. make all those connections. And those okay. communities have actually started economic development committees in order to kind of get all their pieces in place yeah. so they're ready when we get there. I was learning about some of that in Simpsonville, what's going on in Simpsonville, and it's um, a citizen-led yeah. uh, group, which mm -hmm. is amazing. I mean, we all benefit from this trail system, so as much as we can help you guys, you know, bring it, um, it's certainly been an economic engine for our community and lots of great small entre entrepreneurial businesses have opened. We're going to have um, the owners of Swamp Private Cafe and Grocery on in a few weeks and the owners of Cafe at Williams Hardware, the visionary women who opened the first restaurant on the Swamp Private Trail. So we have lots of good guests coming up. Hi Carol, how are you Carol? Um, so uh, any questions for Ty while we have him here? Um, I really appreciate you taking the time yeah. to talk with yeah. us. Anything else you want to tell us about what's going on with biking in Greenville or you know, anything we can do to help? Are there cleanup days? Yeah. Any, anything citizens can do to so, help? So we try to keep it pretty free flowing. One of the things we've started to do with like Kids with Beta Club, oh. um, you know, instead of organizing a big event and getting rained out, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, okay, let's work at either small group levels. Um, and so, you know, anybody with any kind of idea with a volunteer project, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes you can jump in with a group if you want to do that. Like Hog Day just finished up. We had a, actually the San Susi community yeah. kind of did a simple, let's make it a, this access a little bit better for strollers and stuff. 14, uh, 15 of them to three hours and kind of made this nice community connection, talking with private property owners. But we can do the run the gamut. So really it's anybody has any idea of how they want to get engaged, I always like to start with, you give me your idea, email me, let's talk about it, let's make it work for both of us. Okay, what's your email? My email is my first letter, my first name, so T and then H-O-U-C-K at Greenville County, all one word spelled out, dot org. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you are always bringing people to the inn, mm -hmm. showing, you know, big groups of people from all over yeah, what yeah. this trail has done for our community. Yeah. And it's a celebration, really. It's fun. Like, yeah. your job is pretty fun, isn't it? It, <laughs> it, is, it is really fun, but I also yeah. say if the community didn't want it, it wouldn't be nearly as right. much fun. Right. And so, like, what you've done with the inn and the fact that it's a social atmosphere, but so accessible to so many things downtown, I mean, yeah, we're all kind of used to going to hotel rooms, but, like, 
going to your place and sitting down there going, wait, we have this one, we have this connection because we made the effort to kind of go to this the unique place. And then two, you're like, okay, well, you're going to go do this and I'm going to do this. And we came from different parts of the globe. Let's yeah. go do something together. And that's what community is all about, in my opinion. And that's what's really fun around here. Yeah. It was great. This morning, I, I was at the inn. I was talking with a gentleman from Germany. And, you know, it's their fourth time to visit Greenville. And mm -hmm. so they, like, start their trip to the United States in Greenville. And then, and then they're going up the East Coast and into Boston and stuff. But it's like, wow, it's amazing, um, you know, that Greenville yeah. is, is on the map and a tourist destination. And, you know, you've done your part, definitely, to, to make all this happen, and we really appreciate it. I think it's fun, like, what is there, like 32 Greenvilles in, in the United States, something like that. So, you know, it's not like we stick out name-wise. Yeah. And then when people go, well, we've heard so much about this Greenville, that's why we moved here. And then they tell us, like, okay, we decided, we came to visit, we had a great time, so we, we moved, and when we were deciding we were going to move, we are going to go, like, to Austin, or, like, these major cities that yes. we all hear a lot about. Yeah. We're like, no, no, we like Greenville the most. And I'm like... That's it's easy, what, yeah. like it's so easy yeah. to live here. And I sell real estate, my company is Live Greenville. And so I talk with a lot of people that stay with us mm -hmm. to come check out our area. And then I end up helping them buy a house here. Yep. People love that it's so um, community oriented mm -hmm. and friendly. And the lifestyle here is very active and there's so much to do if you like to eat. First of all, there's tons of great restaurants. Yep. If you like walking, hiking, biking, I mean, it's a great retirement, I guess, lifestyle for people who are still active. Um, so, I don't know, come check out Greenville. If you haven't been here yet, stay at the Swamp Rabbit Inn, and ride the Swamp Rabbit there Trail, you go. right? And that's Sounds one of the, like a perfect time. Like you were saying, one of the fun things is about, like what I call the terms age in place. And so yeah. like if we create a community where I'm taking my nine-year-old daughter out for a bike ride, she's learning how to ride, and then, like when you can have a situation where you can no longer walk, you have a trail system that's a network system getting you to your community destinations that you can do on a hand cycle. Yeah. Or, and we're, having, we're seeing more and more of this, and I think it's fantastic, is, is like spouses that have different ability levels, mm -hmm. one of them will ride an e-bike in order so they can still ride together. And oh, yeah. I think that's fantastic. It really is, yeah. yeah. So cool. Well, we have a good thing going here in Greenville, and thank you, Ty, for all you do. We really appreciate it, and thanks for being on the video. Enjoyed it. Okay, thanks. all right. See you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. And I will post the email address. All right, have a good day, everyone.